Hey everybody, it's me again. Um, going to switch some things up today. I've been doing, talk about a lot of scientific lies that we've been told. Uh, today I'm going to, it's going to be a history lie. I'm going to start with talking about the Civil War. The Civil War was nothing but one big lie. They, they tried to tell us that the Civil War was fought to free the slaves. Well, the North had states that had slave states. The South had states that had slave states. Both sides were, a lot of states were freeing their slaves, but they both had slave states. Even the South was freeing slaves. A lot of the slaves stayed right where they were because, you know, they really didn't know where to go or what to do because they could have been grabbed back up and enslaved somewhere else. So if their owners at that time uh, gave them freedom, they could stay where they were at and they at least had freedom. That if they wanted to leave, they could leave. But both sides had slave states. As a matter of fact, um, the whole war started because old greedy ass President Lincoln, he wanted the South states to uh, pay him some tax money. And the South pretty much told him to stick it up their ass. They didn't agree with the way the North did things, so they didn't want to have to pay them any taxes. So they had their own president, their own government, and they didn't really want to be a part of the Northern states. Well, Lincoln didn't like that, and he wanted to be able to charge all them tax money too because he was greedy and he wanted the power. He was power hungry and he wanted control of the South. Um, they, that's where all the cotton was made. And they, they made a lot of money off of that and he wanted a piece of it. Well, th so the war started and it was a long war and uh, it got down to where the North didn't look like it was just gonna be an easy win like they thought it was gonna be and so they decided, oh, Lincoln decided he would pull, go ahead and add, well, we'll give the slaves freedom if they'll come and fight for the North. There was still a lot of slaves that fought for the South, but yeah, a lot of them went North and uh, fought for the North. But it was all bull crap because even Lincoln thought that the black people was a uh, a lower grade of human than white people. He stated it in speeches that he made. He even had it planned that after the war, he was going to, it would have been, cost him too much money to pack up all the black people and send them back to Africa where they came from but he was going to pack them up and send them all to South America. That was cheaper. And it still got them out of North America because he didn't, he, he didn't see them as equals. He, although he was, he was offering them freedom and rights and all this stuff that they fought in the war. Well, it just proves once again, the government will lie to get what they want. And they always do. Well, the end of the war came and everybody thought, oh, the blacks got their freedom and everything. And then 1871, now the Civil War ended in the late 1860s. I think it was 68, 69, somewhere around that. And then Congress and the president passed into, uh, or didn't pass it, they uh, ratified into law the Act of 1871, which not only took all of our state's sovereignty away, it took our own personal sovereignty away, and it turned the entire United States into a corporation. They basically sold our asses to the Federal Reserve, is what they did. Now, the Federal Reserve they took what money, real money we did have where we had gold certificates and uh, silver certificates and stuff that you could have carried into any bank 
and traded a $10 gold certificate or silver certificate in for that gold or silver, and they'd have to give you the, the gold and silver for it. Well, after the Federal Reserve took over, we no longer had real money. And it states it right at the top of all your paper money. It says Federal Reserve note, which is a promissory note. It's not even real money. They don't have nothing to bag it, and they don't have to. All they need is printing machines to print it, and they can print it all they want. Well, that's going to make our money worth the earth our currency worth a lot, isn't it? They can print it, give it to the United States government at a high interest rate, and we the people owe it back. No matter how much money they give to the government that is supposedly working for us, we the people owe it back to the Federal Reserve. Now, after they did that, and like I said, not only the United States became a corporation, they turned all of us into a corporation, which then, in turn, turned our Constitution that we were originally given by our forefathers, the Constitution of the United States of America and the Republic, into nothing. It wasn't worth the paper it was wrote on as long as we are corporations and as long as this country is a corporation. They then started a new constitution and they call it the Constitution of the United States in all capital letters. Or it's not of the United States, for the United States. And they changed of that was used in the original constitution to for the Constitution for the United States, and that does change a lot if you look it up. It changes many things. But, like, let's get back to the fact that it turned us all into a corporation. If you don't believe that, and I know a lot of people do, they, this has been talked about many, many years, but if you don't believe it, all you have to do is look no further than your wallet, pull out your driver's license, your name's in all capital letters, Pull out your social security card. It's in all cap. Your name will be in all capital letters. Pull out your medical certificate or your marriage certificate, I mean. Pull out credit cards. Pull out anything that has to do with the government, whether it's court papers, any kind of legal birth certificate, anything that has to do with the government. And if your name is in all capital letters, you and you admit that's your name, you are a corporation. If you go through a checkpoint, or if you're filling out an application for a job or something, and it asks you if you are a U.S. citizen, not a citizen of America, but a U.S. citizen, you're claiming to be a corporation. That gives them jurisdiction over you, and they can prosecute you under corporate or maritime admiralty law. And that's what they do. Every speeding ticket, every time you get pulled over for without a seat belt or something like that, you're being, you're under jurisdiction that is corporate jurisdiction or maritime admiralty jurisdiction. I've done, studied the hell out of this. I've fought and won many, uh, many uh, violations that I committed. I've won them. I've lost a few, but I've also won many. Because you got to fight them with their own laws. Now, you won't get them to admit what jurisdiction they're fighting you under. But they will, they'll they tell you one minute they, that you're being, you're being charged under criminal, and then when you slap on them that, well, under criminal law, according to the Constitution, there has to be a victim. Oh, well, it's not. You're under traffic law. Well, there is no such thing as traffic law. They're talking about maritime admiral, admiralty law. Which, that's what I'm saying, people. It's lies. It's all lies. The Constitution in this country, it does exist. But as long as you're admitting to be a corporation, it don't exist for you. And if they told us all they took the, the original Constitution down... 
they would have another revolution on their hands. So they don't. They tell you you have rights and that you are free and all this. It's all bullshit. Uh, you, you don't have no rights because you're a corporation. So you only have corporate rights. And every time you apply for a driver's license, every time you apply uh, for a marriage license, any time you apply to the government for a fishing license, a hunting license, anything like that, you're agreeing that you're a corporation and that they have jurisdiction over you. And they can lock you up for the rest of your life because you've given them that jurisdiction. That's just like the federal tax laws. If you actually look into it, it's a voluntary law. It's a voluntary tax. That's why it's the only tax they have that you have to claim. And because you claim it, you owe it. You can look that up too. But uh, I could go on about this, you know, from what happened during the Civil War, the, uh, you know, from us being turned into corporations and we're no longer flesh and blood human beings that our original constitution. I could go on about this stuff for a week if I make this video go that long and if you guys would pay any attention to it. But if you have any questions, ask me. I can give you the answers to, to this stuff. If not, I can find them and give them to you, tell you where to go look for them. Because it, that all this stuff is easily found. You just got to want to know it. And they're not going to teach it to you in any school that's in this country. They don't want you to know the truth. Ignorance is bliss. As long as you don't know what's going on, they don't care. Just like uh, when there was some law, I think it had to do with Pelosi, but she was telling everybody, if you want to know what's in the law, you got to pass it first. Well, that's the way they like to do things. Hide everything they can hide in a law. We'll call it health care for all. But then, like Obama did, he hid the fact that he was taking rights away from the states. There was so much other pork added into it that had nothing to do with health care. And they can get away with that stuff because they think, oh, well, Americans will jump on it. They, if that's free health care for all, nobody has to pay for it. Hell, they'll, they'll back that up. They'll tell their congressmen and senators, pass that law. And y'all did. Now look at what we're dealing with. But, ah, that was just another little rant of mine. And I'll go into it deeper probably some other day. But I'm already wrapped up 13 minutes in this and go a whole lot over that. Most people won't even listen to it. So, But like I said, if you have any questions, get, ask me. I'll try to give you all the answers I can give you. Uh, and I also want to say I like the fact that um, I'm getting a lot of people that are commenting, asking questions, and they're also giving me information. There's some people that are just flat out calling names and want to fucking tell everybody how stupid they are for having an original thought instead of just what everybody else thinks going along with the consensus. But uh, I like what's going on so far. And as long as it keeps happening this way, I'm, it's tickling me to death. I want to build a um, a place where people can come and talk about this stuff, you know. I'm not, I'm not an expert at none of it, but I've studied a lot of it. I can give my two cents, and I will also allow everybody else. And then we can all make our own decisions on what's right and wrong, you know. Uh, my subscribers, I went from 30-some subscribers a week ago to I'm up into the 130-some subscribers today. So, you know, I, I feel like there's a lot of people out there who want to talk about it and want to hear about it. So, like I said, if you got any questions, post them. If I can't answer them, maybe somebody else can. But just always remember this, people. They're trying to remove God from our lives. They're trying to remove God from our country. They're trying to remove God from this world. And we can't let them. May God bless us all because we're going to need it. Have a good day, people.